from its humble beginnings as a ride-sharing service in Malaysia. Grab is today one of Southeast Asia's leading super apps. It operates across 428 cities in eight countries and provides a wide range of on-demand services across mobility, food, package and grocery deliveries, as well as mobile payments and financial services through its subsidiary Grab Financial Group. On the cusp of Grab's $40 billion public listing, I'm delighted to be joined by Philip Chu, Head of Investment and New Businesses for Grab Financial Group. To kick things off, for those who are less familiar with the company than we are here in Asia, can you provide a snapshot of Grab Financial Group and share with us how it fits into the broader Grab ecosystem? Sure, it'll be my pleasure to do so. So um, Grab Financial Group or GFG as we call ourselves, uh, it's a natural evolution from uh, where Grab is. So if you look at Grab's mission, we, we really started from Malaysia looking at transportation and in our zeal to be able to really outserve our customers and solving their customer pain points, we've been adding services to, to the Grab uh, super app over time. And when we crossed over to really trying to, to solve the problems that customers have in payments, we set up payments. When we uh, had more information about uh, the customers, uh, we, could, we found that we could provide lending, so we started lending. And in the same fashion, as, as the snowball cr uh, cr uh, continued to get bigger, we understood our customers better. We added insurance about two years ago, and most recently we've added wealth. And of course, uh, as you, you can see in the press, uh, we've just started our, our, our journey in digital banking here in, in Singapore with the MES. Um, so, so really what we have are, are four, four major verticals uh, in, in, in the company. Uh, in and of themselves, they are already very, very large opportunities and businesses. Um, the reason why we brought all them together is really because we, we've seen that we have a common set of customers, a common mobile wallet, common set of data and insights that allows us to really do all of them much better than others for the, the mission of outserving our customers. So really, Grab has built an ecosystem with a very large base of highly engaged users. We have millions of consumers, drivers, delivery and merchant partners that use our Grab at, um, Super App daily. And in that, it gives us the opportunity to really within GFG to be able to do a few things that's quite unique. Number one, our customer acquisition cost is highly efficient uh, as we are able to cross sell across uh, the, the platform very, uh, very easily. And the second thing is just in terms of the intimacy and the data that the customers and the consumers have with us within the super app, it allows us to custom tailor, understand, provide financial services, services that are really, really relevant to our consumers. And then I think the, the, the third thing is um, to, to be able to just conveniently provide it to you uh, as a consumer at a point of need, at a point of usage. So that's something that we call embedded finance. Finance is just there as natural as the air is that, that we, we, we breathe. And I think the other cool thing about Grab is that uh, we don't just stay online, we're also offline. So Grab has an extensive uh, network of uh, offline merchants that we, we, we serve. And also we have a delivery network, we can get physical things to you. So we don't just move electrons and photons, we actually move molecules also. Uh, the, the last thing that I'd like to share with you is that because you have this uh, super app in front of you, um, we have also the opportunity to make it really, really powerful habitualization effects from being able to have that uh, embedded finance in front of you as you go through your life, it becomes an instant to be able to pick up your phone, to be able to pay, to be able to pick up your phone, to get a reward. Uh, so it, it uh, really increases the stickiness for a fintech effort like GFG. So we're very thankful for that. I, I guess financial products is something that many of us take for granted, but in Southeast Asia, almost 200 million people don't have bank accounts. 70% of adults are underbanked. Can you talk about how, as a fintech company, Grad Financial is addressing these issues around financial inclusion? How are you giving people greater access to financial products? You know, I think that that's a great question. And, you know, it, it comes from our mission. Our mission in Grab Financial Group GFG is really to go after providing and enabling financial inclusion for the underserved. The, the, the folks who are well served by banks, they are already uh, out there, they have their services. But for us, given that we have this low customer acquisition cost channel and, and this wonderful engagement with Grab Super App, um, it, is, it behooves us to, to do it that way. And so ultimately what we really want to do is to make people's lives easier 
and this is cuts across all segments of society. And what, 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 why is that important to us? I think, you know, if you look at uh, uh, wanting to create a bank 200 years ago, you would go where people are, and you might go to where the ports are located, where rivers join together to, to, the, uh, to the sea. That's where you would go. But nowadays, where would you go? Um, nowadays, you just look around you. What, where, where are people? People are going digital. They're looking down on their phones. So it's really about digital. And, and for us, uh, with the super app, uh, within, within Grab, uh, that's the new port of the 21st century. And so what we've done is we've taken a unique approach, we believe, on, on doing this. Number one, we focus on accessibility. And accessibility can just mean in terms of making it easy for you to get to, but also accessibility in terms of pricing. Fractional pricing, super important for us, super important for especially for the underserved. It's not about big ticket items, can also be at the, at the bite size that is needed to be able to serve them. Secondly, um, convenience. We, 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 we all have seen uh, financial products out there that you have to read through a lot of boilerplate plate language to really understand where you're signing, what you're signing on to. We're going to streamline all of that and we're going to make things really simple and easy for you to use. If we, we say it to one, it's one. If we say it's two, it's two. You don't have to read uh, the fine print. And then the third thing is transparency. Uh, many times, you know, if you, if you really think back about financial services and how it has changed in the last 30 plus years, one of the big innovations in, in legacy financial services is innovation in hiding fees. I think we, we, we step away from that. We're, what we're going to do is we're going to provide transparent understanding to our customers, full product details, disclosures upfront, no hidden charges. Then perhaps if we pivot a little bit from talking about consumers to businesses, um, what role then do you think fintech companies like Grab Financial play in democratizing commerce in Southeast Asia? particularly if we focus on some of these small offline businesses who now have to deal with digitally savvy consumers? Yeah, you know, I, I think, I think this, this question wouldn't be so um, um, appropriate, uh, wouldn't be so, so relevant if it was say two or three years ago, I might have to do a sales job. But now post COVID, it is super clear to people why FinTech companies are, have play an important role in this. It's basically bringing a, a lot of uh, the, the smaller players, smaller businesses online, where the customers are, where customers can be uh, when we're in the middle of the, uh, of the effects of COVID-19. We're still living through it. We have many waves that are, that are going through many parts of the world and we're living it, whether it's in Hong Kong or, or, or in Singapore. And so really what, what we, 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 we've, we've been doing is um, we've been bringing a lot of these offline customers uh, online. We've been providing payment services for them. So they could be social sellers, it could be even whole new groups of people who have never thought of going online. Fish, uh, fishmongers, farmers, uh, vendors, folks who, who, who really thought that, you know, perhaps all that is for, for only the young people who are on the phone, but really now it's everyone. Everyone has to be there if you want to participate in the economy. So fintechs play a really, really, important, a really important role in this because they're digital natives and therefore you have to be a bridge to be able to do so. So what, what, we, what, what we believe and what we have been doing in Grab is to really push this forward. We provide digital payment infrastructure for, uh, for many of the businesses that have come to us. And, and also for us, we've, we've taken more, a step more than just providing these types of services. We have a program crawl, uh, called Grow with Grab. Uh, this was actually done pre-pandemic where we provide, um, uh, provide micro loans to small entrepreneurs. Uh, this has been especially success successful over in Thailand. Definitely. Um, in our last minute, finally, Philip, I just want to talk about a concept that I know is very important to grab. It's the concept of a double bottom line, making a profit while also making a positive social impact. How do you adopt this principle as a fintech company? And can fintech companies actually be more successful by focusing on the social impact of their technology? Yeah, I think that's a, that's a wonderful question. Um, at, at Grab, we have a tech for good agenda that's really focused on using technology to further financial inclusion, improve access to uh, essential services, and really just positively impact so many of the people in Southeast Asia. And if you, if you look at this, we have a very, very clear mission in, in what we do here in Grab. At, at, at GFG, uh, on our part, we're really laser focused on financial inclusion. If you think about being able to do this double bottom line really well, Focusing on positive social impact in a sustainable way 
actually tells you that you need a double bottom line. And that is how we look through and, and how we really run our, our businesses. Um, it is not through a singular lens, but it's actually through a double lens in this way. So, you know, we, we live this uh, every day within Grab. There's something that we call uh, uh, within uh, our, our mission. We, we, we have put together something called the Grab Way. Um, we have four principles which revolve around heart, hunger, honor, and humility. Um, it's the way we live our lives. It's the way we work with each other. It's the way we work with our customers. And we believe ultimately when we do that, we're able to really live by this double bottom line very, very well. Great. Well, thank you, Philip, for your time and for your insights. We're very grateful for it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time too.